Well, here we are. We're coming down the home stretch. One of the final steps is just to customize the presentation of our quiz. Now, we'll begin with the custom colors. We wanted to make a couple changes to the uh, the hover button, the control button, as well as the rollovers. So let's go ahead and just open up our question slide. Because what we need to do is once again jump into slide view to find those design colors. Click the slide view and the design tab up here in the ribbon and then we'll come down here in the colors. Now currently we're working from the default color, right, which is the office color theme. Well, when we create a new theme, we're actually going to create a theme from those colors. We could select anything else over here, but let's just work from the default and then we'll create our own. So click create new theme and I'll go ahead and give this a name. So we'll call this communication quiz. And two things we want to change here. So keep an eye right here. Uh, we're working with the lighter colors right now, which is why this was the one we're going to focus on. But essentially, uh, these are kind of the same, but this actually ref um, applies to the darker backgrounds and this applies to the lighter backgrounds. First thing we want to do is actually change the color of the radio button. It's one of the most commonly asked questions. How do you do that? The last down here, control one. So I can change that maybe to a red. Now when I change it right here, watch how the control button up here also changes to red. There you go. It changed in both of them, obviously, but uh, that's just how you can kind of preview what's being affected. Now, the next thing I want to do is actually change the color of the rollover, right? It was that light blue, and that's over here under accent one. So you may want it to be all white or maybe just something a little subtle or you maybe you want the rollover. I actually want to go all white just to kind of minimize uh, that hover. So I just kind of want to keep all the hovering uh, around the actual radio button. So click white. And that's it, unless you want to make some other changes. But for us and for this project, that's all we need to do. Click Save. Now, the other thing I want to do is always come in here and check my choices. So I can see that the bounding box is a little bit off right here. If I preview this, I'm guessing that the radio hover, the hover around these choices, see how it sticks out just a little bit past these choice background graphics. And then if you also may be able to see it's actually hovering over the images. So what I want to do is just drag those in a little bit to the left, each of these, and then bring the bounding box over to the right, just so it doesn't stick off of the graphic. It's not a big deal, but it's something. So I can make the easy change up here by selecting the outer bounding box, not the individual choice box, but this outer box, and just bring it in a little bit. And let's try to bring this other one in as well. Should group all of these together. And there we go. So now if I preview it, check that out. Looks pretty good. So there we've customized. And if I, if I click each of these, you can see that the, uh, the uh, control button is actually now red and not that light teal color. And that looks pretty good. So in the next movie, we'll go ahead and customize the title, the, the title of our quiz, and then the background colors here. We'll make this a little bit darker.